So hi, my name is uh, Ivan Rodic and I'm running the two blogs, facehunter.org and ivanrodic.com and I've been blogging for nearly six years now. So what is interesting, I've been traveling in over about 70 countries around the world and what I've been observing over the time is how much uh, cities that didn't have before a fashion culture or a fashion industry uh, got an opportunity with thanks to the internet and to the blogging culture to offer a chance to especially the younger generation to get some inspiration and actually uh, to get a form of self-confidence about actually dressing the way they want so it means that fashion used to be kind of the monopoly of a few capitals the Milan the Paris and maybe London and I think uh, what is I mean I remember I've been traveling in, in some cities where maybe five or six years ago it would not be so happening fashion-wise. And I think now when I go to these places, I see a whole generation of young people who actually enjoy individual style. And I think this is definitely a consequence of like the blogging culture. And I think uh, as well as an evolution, a consequence of street style blogs and blogs in general, I think there's more than ever a form of like uh, uh, consciousness. I mean, people are people think more than ever about the way they look and that the fact that they can be photographed and because nowadays you, the sh social life is mostly determined by your online profile your Facebook your Twitter anything like that so people are, are craving often for good pictures because if they have a good picture then people who are their friends on internet who don't see them every day think they are cool so somehow more than ever being photographed and having a um, interesting appearance matters. I think if you think now about style in different parts of the world, uh, what is interesting to observe is that we are more connected than ever. It means that in, in Rio de Janeiro, in Sydney or in, in Moscow, people have access because of the internet to similar references in similar blogs, similar bands. You, on one hand, you, I can observe that people tend to think the same way and I would say there's the, the emergence since well, I would say 10 years and especially acceleration in the last five years because of the blogging uh, of um, an obsession for individual. This means that everyone wants to have his personal style. So even like mainstream brands actually promote the idea of an individual style. So it can sounds like a paradox because it's like, oh, everyone wants to be individual, so they want the same. I think it's not a paradox, it's just a complexity of, um, on one hand, we want to belong to something, to the group, and on the other hand, we want to differentiate ourselves. And um, I think, uh, so somehow, what I, I would say is like, when I travel in all these different places around the world, I observe less and less local particulars. It means that if we go to Brazil, people have less specifically a Brazilian style or in maybe in, uh, in Russia, Russian style. It means that people uh, abandon like a local attachment to where they're from, but they gain uh, a chance to be more who they want to be. 